Hello, I'm Raluca and welcome to the AWS Certified Developer Associate Tutorial Step Free course by Pact Publishing. I am a certified AWS developer and solutions architect. I have several years of experience architecting and implementing solutions on AWS, and I specialize in serverless and microservices applications. This course will provide you with everything you need to know to be fully comfortable working with virtual and private clouds in the AWS ecosystem. You will also get introduced to the AWS Shared Responsibility Model. This video provides you with a glimpse of the entire course. In the first section, we will cover virtual and private clouds or VPCs. We will learn how to build our own custom VPC. We will learn all about subnets, internet gateways, public and private subnets how to restrict access by using network access control lists. We learn about NATs and Bastion hosts, as well as VPC peering and VPC flow logs. In the second section of the course, we will have a look at AWS shared responsibility model and some exam tips. The course is geared towards application developers and architects who are looking to start developing or architecting applications on Amazon Web Services, as well as individuals and professionals who are preparing for the AWS Certified Developer Associate exam. Some prerequisites for this course, you will need a computer that has Mac, Linux, or Windows installed. We're going to go and set up a new AWS free tier account, but you will have to register for one to be able to complete the course. You don't need to have an extensive background in programming, but it would be beneficial if you had some, as well as if you had a bit of Linux experience beforehand, but that is not completely necessary as we will see during the course. By the end of the course, you will have an understanding of how to use virtual private clouds. You will be able to start creating your own VPCs. You will gain an appreciation for the power of NAT devices and Bastion hosts. You will be able to create and manipulate access using network access control lists, and you will have a good understanding of the AWS shared responsibility model.